This painting is Jackson Pollock's Watery Paths, and there's a lot of pareidolia going on. So to begin with, I am seeing a figure, and as you can see, here is the head, here's the shoulders, and it's um, it could either be a perspective from the back or the front. If it's from the back, then there's their nose, there's their eyes, there's their mouth, and then if we wanna look at it, uh, from the front perspective, here are the eyes right there, there's the nose, there's the mouth, and the head is leaning this way, and the body is like this, and it appears as though they are holding something within their hands, uh, perhaps a ball or maybe a kitten or a dog, and there are their arms. And then also we can look at it as a side figure, as a side form of a person. There's the eyelashes, there's the nose, there's the mouth, and there's a pipe. Um, and then down here, let me see if I need to zoom in. Okay. So down here, I am seeing, sorry, another face. So I'm seeing another face. There are the eyes, there's the nose, there's the mouth, and there is some of their hair. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, like Men in Black or something. And then here is another face. Here, there's the rounded form of the head. There are the eyes, there's the mouth. And then here I'm seeing another face. Let me try to zoom in. Okay, here I'm seeing another face right here. It's kind of shaped in a crescent form uh, right here. And then here are the here is the eye, there's the nose, and there's the mouth. And then here is another face. There is the eye right here. There's the eye, the pupil. And then here is the nose, there's the mouth. And right here is another face. There is the eye, there's the other eye, it's kind of shut. And then there's the mouth. And then here I am seeing the form of a person. They're standing very tall. Right here I am seeing a hummingbird. There's its beak and there are its wings in flight and there's the motion around it. And here I am seeing a person with perhaps like a pitchfork or some kind of um, long thing in their hands. Here is their head, there's their body and their legs. And then here I am seeing um, the form of a woman she has. There is her body right here, and here is her head, and she has a pipe and she's smoking. And then down here I'm seeing people at work. Here is the body. Okay, just try to zoom in. Here's the head, here's their body, or it could be people at war and they're holding bows and arrows and uh, gun, not guns, knives. Uh, there's their head, there's their body, there's um, their bow, here's a horse, there's a person, and here's a big explosion that happened, they're on their horse, the person. Here it looks like a school of fish from the ocean. As you can see, they're going this way, and it's kind of just all a big fight for survival. Here is another face. There is the eye. <laughs> there are the eyes, there is the nose, and there's the mouth. Here's another eye right there. And then right here is an underwater aquatic animal. There is the eye, and they have an interesting body shape. And right here are people fishing in a water area, and there are the fish coming out of it. Here this looks like a dinner party or like a chef making dinner. Okay, right here, there is the chef, there's their top hat and they're cooking right here. Or it looks like um, an ocean scene, like here is the water, here's the foam of uh, the water, and there is the ship and it's kind of exploding. Or perhaps like a cannon came from here and it's um, blowing it up. And then right here, I'm seeing a slug. Um, there's <laughs> the head of it, and here is the body, and then there's the goo left behind from it crawling around. 
And look at its eye, it looks so gross. And then here this looks like um, the scenery of where Dracula was filmed. Here is the um, housing and stuff. And there is the ocean of blood. Oh, here is a person. Here is a side profile. There's their eye and their face. It's really obscured. And then here's another face. There are the eyes and there's the mouth. And then this scenery looks like mountains right here. Here are the mountains. There is some snow and there is the sun hitting it and making it colorful. Here this looks like the man in the moon. There's the face and there is the crescent shape. This looks like somebody's body, like perhaps on an x-ray. There's their brain and then there is their organs. Or it could also be a bat. There's its body and there are its wings and then there are the other bats among them. Here is a cave scenery area. Um, there's the entrance to the cave, here's the rocky area, and here's the greenery. And over here, it's um, it kind of reminds me of a, um, a Chinese landscape. Then here we have another Chinese landscape. Here are the ridges of a mountain, and there is a red crane flying. There's the greenery of um, shrubs. Here this looks like people, here is some greenery, and then here they are, and they're looking out onto the horizon. Here this looks like um, a germ plate, you know, what they used to culture in labs, that's what it really looks like to me. And then here is someone practicing archery. Here's the back of their head, there's their nose. Here is their attire and there is the bow and the target is over here. Here this looks like um, a mask. There are the eyes and there's the nose. There's a fish. Here this looks like um, from Google Maps when you're looking downwards onto something. There's the water and then there is the landscape, like a desert land. Well, no, I guess it wouldn't be a desert, but someplace really dry because it's cracking over there. And then this looks uh, like the head of a dragonfly right here. And I guess this iridescent stuff could be the wings of the dragonfly. Here is a horse, there's its head, and here is its body. Here is someone's portrait, there's their head, there's their eyes, their mouth, their, their shoulders. Right here is a flower, it's really beautiful. I guess maybe like a hibiscus or some kind of tropical flower. And there is the branch and then the greenery of the, the uh, leaves. And then right here, this looks like the body of a mosquito. There's its long, creepy legs. This looks like a caterpillar that is hatching into a butterfly and it's just emerging from its cocoon. The white here is the cocoon and the orange and black here is the body. Right here is another flower bud, but if we look at it this way, it is a landscape. Here is the running water. There is some red rocks. 